All right, so let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys here a little bit. So obviously they made big moves on the offensive side of the ball this offseason, getting rid of Amari Cooper and uh, bringing in Tyler Smith as a first-round draft pick on the offensive line. But I think one of their biggest moves has come out recently. It's that running back, maybe potentially wide receiver. Tony Pollard is slated to get some snaps at slot wide receiver this, uh, this coming season. This is obviously a big move potentially for Dallas. And before we get into it, I want all Cowboys fans to let us know who do you prefer on the team in terms of the running back position, Ezekiel Elliott or Tony Pollard? Comment below. Let us know who you think. All right, Mize, uh, what do you think of this move, having Pollard line up a lot at wide receiver potentially this season? Uh, I really like it in a couple of aspects. I think Pollard really had some nice uh, sparks last year. Like He shined a little bit when he got opportunity on the field. A lot of big plays, he, he kind of he would be the guy to, you know, hit the seam and, like, take it 70 yards to the house, like, out of nowhere. Like, I I felt like when I watched the Cowboys, which, because of you, I would watch them a little bit more than I normally would. That's that's what really stuck out to me is Pollard was, like, a home run hitter type of runner. And I think when you can put a guy on the field like that, it kind of scares people. Like, Zeke, he's scary in his own way, but for the the sake that Pollard could break out at any point and take it to the house, that's scary. And the more ways that you can fit him on the field to try to get him the ball, whether it's in the backfield or out in the slot as a receiver, I think that's a really smart move by the Cowboys. That's a really uh, savvy like offensive play to go and just get him and Zeke on the field at the same time as many different ways as possible. I think it's a pretty ingenious move. Yeah, and I think the big thing about this is the personnel matchups that are going to happen with opposing defenses. And here's what I mean by that. Like, let's say you have two wide receivers, uh, Gallup and Lamb, tied in Dalton Schultz, and you have uh, um, Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard coming into the game. Defensive staffs are now going to have to play both for the run and for the pass. And Dallas can, if Pollard can do well in the slot, Dallas can do all kinds of things like that. So in that normal personnel package, you think Dallas would maybe come out, run the football, or, or maybe some play action off that. If Pollard can play the slot, they basically have four legitimate wide receiving threats on the field, and Elliott's not bad either coming back out of the running back position. So with that kind of personnel group, they could either go spread formation, they could do a standard eye formation, they could do some kind of different offset action formation. They did a lot of that. Uh, with Elliott and Pollard and like short short yardage situations last year. So that just opens up a lot of possibilities for the offense and gives defensive coordinators all kinds of fits because so much of the game today is matchups. It's like getting the right number of defensive backs on the field, getting the right number of pass rushers on the field. Okay. They're in a passing offense. Let's get our pass rushers out there. Let's get our nickel group out there. Well, guess what? If Pollard's coming into the game, is Dallas going to be in a passing set or are they going to be in a running set? Like it it gives defensive coordinators all kinds of headaches. And let's not forget Pollard actually played wide receiver a lot of times at Memphis. He caught 104 passes for the Tigers and not just out of the backfield. Memphis used him a lot of different ways, lining up in the slot, sometimes out wide. So he has the skills. He has the experience doing it, at least in the collegiate level. So I think it's, a, like you said, a really good move for Dallas, not just that it can create problems in the, in the, for the matchups, but also the fact that Pollard has a history of doing this. Yeah, and I like to think back. Uh, if I think of creative offenses and things that work and things that gave people fit, Okay, right when the league started to change to more pass-catching tight ends, that's really caused a lot of problems. You think of uh, the Mark Andrews. You think of, you know, the Kittles, the Kelseys. All those guys, they're big matchup problems. You don't want to put a linebacker on them because they're not fast enough to cover them. You don't want to put a corner on them because they're too big to get covered by a corner. Big problem. Other guys I think of are like the Kyle Juice checks and uh, the Pat Ricards of the world. Uh, big, big fullbacks who can also catch the ball and run the ball. You know, Kyle Juice check was a game changer for Baltimore, game changer for the 49ers uh, in his position, his role. Uh, when you get guys like Cordero Patterson who uh, or Wandale Robinson probably in the future or Bayless Jones Jr. in the future or even like a Tyree Kill, who is a receiver who can take, you know, this new, um, uh, what do you call it when they run from like a a a sweep, a speed sweep or something like that. Like, uh, you you mix the running game into receiver. I think this is the same exact thing. You mix the receiving role into the running back. Whenever you have a guy on the field that is potential to do 
up multiple things, I think it causes a headache for the defense. Like you're saying, it's an it's a matchup nightmare, but I think it's really smart and it's shown to have a lot of success. Well, I think you bring up a really good point about tight ends because we've seen that now. And, and you brought up the Ravens with Andrews. That's a good example. So obviously, if the against the Ravens, if a team brings a linebacker in the box to try and play that running game, Andrews is going to eviscerate that linebacker in the passing game. It's the exact same scheme for Dallas. If a team brings a corner out because they're worried about matching up against Pollard in the slot, that corner doesn't know how to fit the run. And even if he does, he'll get absolutely demolished by the powerful offensive line in that running game. He doesn't stand up any sort of chance the way a linebacker would. Well, if you bring that linebacker in, Pollard will embarrass him in the passing game. So again, just like you said, having that guy that puts defenses in a no-win situation is, is just really valuable. And, and I think Pollard really has the potential to be that kind of player. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.